Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hatsu C and welcome back to Factorio Season 6, Episode 2, where we are nearing the uh, research that we do with red and green bottles. Uh, so, I think in today's episode, we want to uh, get to the point where we can actually have our first setup where we go from the ore to red bottles and to green bottles. We do have a bit of power, we can expand that, uh, but I think let's just have a bit of um, of a minor set up here in the middle and then we will also have a bit of uh, same thing here for copper if i can place the miners correctly there is a tree in the way i think four for copper will do for now And probably, yeah, there is another tree in a way. We'll do this. We will here, we will go up to here where we have a bit of, of a line already going through this can be moved to here right and then I guess we also need coal for uh, smelting the ores so that of course is coming from up here. We have one. I think one will not be sufficient, especially if we then also want to um, use this coal line for the power. And in this series, we will not have uh, a traditional bus but we will move our items around um, using trains so and on the train I will not move everything only ores liquids and the, uh, the science packs oh that's Get a bit of space here and basically what I aim for is uh, a bit of uh, a bit of a, a grid where we have this rail grid and within a grid we produce something so and within such a grid block a block is probably the the, the better term um, we then can move things around this um, with with a belt but not from one grid block to to the next so I will need some more uh, some more uh, uh, transport belts. I played this game too long in German, so I uh, missed the uh, uh, the English term. Usually, it's the other way around. And and let's also hook up uh, copper. The 
electric wire. So we can stockpile a bit of of that. And we shall have yeah, let's have eight furnaces here. Um I will also need more inserters. But all in due time, so let me work this uh, set up uh, first and then we can see how we get to a, a proper um, to proper uh, functioning production zone for green and uh, green and uh, red science packs. Now this first part is out of the way, so we can actually open up our helm and have a look uh, what we want to achieve here. Um, so question here is less how many how many uh, factories do we need but how many items uh, do we have throughput wise um, so that should solve part of the of the question because if we have 10 and 12 uh, we have yellow belts yellow belts that uh, is it uh, 15 seconds 15 items per second and even if we uh, only have items on half the belt like here for red signs we could we could have half uh, copper half gears um, that would uh, solve that would still be sufficient for the 10 machines that we have here so let's try to come up with something we will leave a bit of room here because we probably have to, to combine things quite heavily so if we make this uh, the the red one then we want to have double belt here and then we need gears on there which means we need have it like this right and then we need a whole lot more of uh, assemblers uh, but at this stage in the game hopefully i have enough uh, iron for that enough copper in in these furnaces so we can just go ahead and craft those that that we need and then let's have a splitter here and here we need copper I have a splitter there and then we need power let's bring power up here and we want to have output here on this side so that's two 
four, six, eight, ten. And this copying it this way just makes it easier to place because uh, when you build it, you don't have to think about um, where to place things. Uh, and probably here in the middle should be here. We want to switch the direction so we can have a full belt. And then of course we need more inserters. And we also need the gears for uh, the green signs. And we can see we need two assemblers for all the gears, so we should be able to have uh, another splitter here that we can then use to siphon off some of the gears. And then we probably want to bring copper over to this side. And then we need the green circuits. Then we need two assemblers for the copper wire, one for the for the actual circuits. We make it this way. So have it there, 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 and there we will have it like this, and then have output going there. And then what's next? Next is probably we could um, have the, uh, the circuits on the other side of the gears and then have everything down there for uh, inserters and uh, belts and then we have everything that we actually need um, for the green signs. But as always uh, with these projects, uh, materials are running out. Even our coal in the pocket is running out, so uh, I will grab that. I will uh, hopefully supply myself with enough material to finish the build. And once we have the uh, factory set up for the green and red signs, we can then also hook up the, uh, um, the our four labs to the output of uh, the, the, the factory that we have there. I had to slightly redo the setup down here because after all we need three factories, three assembly machines for the gears, but with that we should be able to supply enough gears for the red signs and the green signs. So what we need to do here is hook things up. Here we have a more compact green circuit production that then feeds into the um, inserter production. And here with long inserters, we are putting out uh, the products on the belt uh, that's then consumed by this long line of, uh, of assemblers for green signs. 
and then we also hook up the red one and that should give us an even uh, production of one science per minute um, and right on cue the red only science is done so let's cue uh, more of this uh, good stuff yes we will take landfill we'll also take the uh, the steel furnace because uh, with the setup where we can only transport ore um, basically we have to smelt the ores on site for when we need it and uh, there the uh, the electric furnaces they come in uh, real handy uh, because otherwise we need to uh, um, to uh, move coal all around the base so that's not something that I'm looking forward to so let's collect here the uh, the labs and I have prepared a bit of a, a set up up here I mean for where we are going with, with this we will not really need huge amounts of, of labs because eventually we will have uh, this rail block set up uh, where we will have to redo the, the whole setup again and then we have probably one block for the red signs one block for the green signs and if one block does not produce enough we just slap down a second block and thereby we should be able to scale this this pretty nicely so what we did not consider here in this setup is to have the proper ratio of the the smelting for the for the furnaces uh, because at this early stage it's just uh, easier have a bit of smelting on the side and then just leaching off uh, the, the iron plate and the copper plates as we need them and with that we are researching the uh, the green and uh, red researches uh, and we are actually at the end of uh, this second episode we uh, reached the goal I have set out and uh, we are moving at quite a, a fast pace uh, we are already almost maxed out here on the power uh, I had to hook up the, the second power station uh, so we do not have outages but what we are doing now that's basically the max power output uh, that we have with everything running so unless we add to it we should be good for power and we can always add more down there so that's it as i said for today and we will see what comes next so uh, stay tuned subscribe and do like if you enjoyed this episode until then goodbye